In this video, we're going to discuss embedding child UX components into a parent UX component and how the child UX component can be refreshed. So you can see we have a simple UX component here that has a drop-down control and then underneath the drop-down control we have an embedded UX component that was placed on the component by choosing the um, embedded object tool from the toolbox. The embedded object itself is called UX underbar child and the argument binding which is defined over here shows that this child component, this UX underbar child component has a single argument called what customer ID and the value of this what customer ID argument is uh, obtained by getting the value from the DD1 control. So when this embedded component runs, the value of DD1 is going to be read and the what customer ID um, argument is going to be populated. If we go take a look at the uh, child component, let's take a look here at the child component, we can see that uh, the child component has defined this argument uh, called what customer ID and then the list control which is based on a SQL query going against the Northwind database and uh, is displaying data from the orders table. This particular query here is looking for all records where the customer ID matches the argument uh, what customer ID. So this is this what customer ID is the argument that was defined for this child component. So we're only going to show orders that match the uh, what customer ID field. The argument itself has a default value of ALF key as you can see over here. So if we were to go and just run this component by itself we can see that we're going to see all of the records for ALF key. However when we embed the component in the parent, so let's go back to the parent here, and we can see here that this parent has assigned a default value of uh, bollard to this drop-down control. So when we run it we can see here's the parent, comp the parent uh, component and there's the drop-down box showing bollard and then here's the uh, child component, the embedded component and since the argument was bound to this control uh, DD1 the list control in the child is showing the records for bollard so everything is working as uh, you would expect however if I now go and change the value in this drop-down and for example select ALF key over here. What I want to have happen is that this embedded component should automatically refresh as it did over here. So if I go here and for example choose Bonnet or um, DRACD you can see that the embedded component is automatically refreshing but that just doesn't happen automatically you have to actually make that happen. So let's go back now to this drop-down control and go take a look now at the on change event for this drop down box. So now uh, we can see that whenever the value in the drop down box changes, the on change event fires. And you can see here that we've chosen an action in action JavaScript called refresh embedded UX components. So let's actually delete that, start again. So we'll go here to UX components, scroll down here to refresh synchronize embedded UX component and then go and uh, select the alias of that particular embedded component which is UX child 1. So that alias is you can see when we embedded the child component we uh, got to choose what alias we wanted to assign to the embedded component and we chose UX child 1. So let's go back again now to the drop down and then go here to the on change event and uh, uh, view the JavaScript. So that's the code that got written. We're calling the synchronize embedded UX method and now when we go ahead now and uh, run the component we can see that when we change the value in the drop-down the embedded component automatically refreshes. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion now about refreshing embedded UX components and we've seen how when we make a change to this drop-down, what that does is push the new value of the um, argument into the component and then refresh the list that is bound to that argument. But you can see that we're also, at the same time that we refresh this list, we're also basically causing the value in this control here to update. 
and the way that that was done is by taking advantage of the events that fire when the refresh takes place. So if we go back to the child component over here, we can see that this child component exposes server-side events and client-side events. So on the client side, there's an event called unsynchronized dialogue that fires when the child component is synchronized. So let's go here and type in alert client side synchronize. But in addition to that, there's also a server-side event called unsynchronize that also fires when the child component is refreshed. And inside this component, we have access to the arguments that were bound to a control in the parent component. So here we're going to read the value of the what customer ID argument, and then we're going to set the value of this control called txt1 to the value of the argument that was read. So that's how we got that child text box control to automatically update. So let's go back now to our parent and here we can see now the component initially is displayed, the embedded component is run and now I go and make a change to the uh, control. This causes the um, argument in the embedded component uh, to get updated. You can see here is the client side synchronize event firing and then the server side on synchronize event fired and set the value in this control over here. So the ability to synchronize an embedded component when a parent control has changed is a very powerful uh, feature in the UX component and is central to the uh, task of taking a large component and breaking it down into smaller sub-components. Thank you very much for watching.